Yeah, um, exactly. <laughs> so, it, it, I, and, and I know that a lot of people here, because like, again, we, we deal in the spiritual aspect of many things, but what I do know is that everything is controlled in the spiritual realm, and we see it here. Uh, and, and money is, again, I used to teach a class on this. If you go back 10,000 years and you see the evolution of money, it's always been associated with a god of some sort, some deity. And it led me to when I knew you were coming on, and I so I was doing some searching, and I haven't found anyone even approaching this. So who would be the demigod or the spiritual goddess or god that would control this aspect of wealth? Because this is what we're talking about. When you're making common people who don't have the, the pedigree, the bloodline, nor the education, right, that are becoming multimillionaires, hundred millionaires uh, very early in life, there is a an aspect to this that you have to say, all right, so what's happening? Mm -hmm. So have you thought about that? Would if you, If you see the industry, who would you, I mean, I can't find any research on it. Well, I don't know. I mean, I think I think that's what's so interesting about and I I've, you know, once again been following you for such a long time and as someone that grew up in in religion, it, it I always had questions and things like that. But but oh, I think yeah. it really comes <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But I think it comes down to the egregore point that you kind of mentioned where like and I always kind of even though I didn't really understand all of the aspects, I kind of understood it as like from a very young age, I would always wear like blank t-shirts and, you know, just whether it was a plain blue or plain green or plain black, because I didn't like, you know, supporting some of these logos or supporting some of these things. So I think those are all kind of, I mean, you really hit the nail on the head and you really kind of like blew my, like my current or my previous paradigm, I should say, with that egregore that kind of like, I, I, I wouldn't say like, oh, just one, you know, Debbie Goddard entity type thing. I, you know, I would think that just like with, with companies these days, right. There would be kind of like several type of deal, but, um, but the, the cool thing is, too, is over time, you can kind of see and you can kind of, uh, you know, get a look and feel for for what seems more legitimate and, and what might be more sinister, right? Because there, there is always those kind of two aspects of, uh, you know, things going on in life. And so to be able to kind of see with discernment, okay, here's what's going on over here. And then over time, we can see this community or we can see this growth and prosperity over here that seems to <laughs> yeah, prove itself yeah, over time yeah. in the right way. As you were talking, I'm writing because it, it's 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 just going off in my my spirit. Is that all right? So we're about to embark on this group experiment number two, uh, creating our own egregore. Wouldn't it be interesting if we could actually connect our egregore with the egregore mm. that is obviously over this? Right. Movement, whatever it is, it, yeah. it, it, it's it's impacting all of humanity. So that makes it pretty powerful in that. And then you're dealing mm -hmm. with the payment, the wealth aspect. So are we seeing truly within the ethereal, the possibility that there's actually a wealth transfer? Mm 